What do we have here? Hmm, new mods. That's right, Civi Speed. These are the S4 bezel replicas. They look delicious. Check this out. So, that's the ballast. There we go. It's quick connect, that optional one they have for $5. That's what it looks like. So it lets you run um, DRL and while the low beams are on. But I believe for now I'm going to be installing these to only turn on when the low beams are on. Extension for the driver's and the passenger side uh, light and the actual harness. Five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I know I haven't posted in the past couple weeks, or maybe, but I am still alive, I assure you. Uh, we're back with the JDM replica fog bezels from Subi Speed. So we're gonna install those today. And uh, I assure you, there's more stuff coming, more content coming. I'm gonna go to the Elia Auto Show on Saturday. So hopefully I'll be able to record some stuff there. I'm mostly interested in the aftermarket section, of course, but uh, we'll see what's new. Other than that, I want to make a video later on, maybe next week, for an update on the entire car, where it sits right now, what are my plans with it, what my vision is for it, future plans down the line, a few years from now. Um, I got some crazy ideas I want to do. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this install. Ugh, bird poop. All right guys, so first things first, we're gonna start the wiring from the fuse box and work our way down. Um, my plan is to wire through here, down, uh, figure out where I'm gonna mount the ballast, and we'll go from there. So, let's get started. All right guys, so here's the harness you're provided with. On one of them, you have the Ada fuse. This is gonna go to your either um, high beam uh, fuse spot or your low beam fuse spot, depending on what you wanna do. And if you have the optional um, $5, quick connect that I showed you, you're gonna be able to put into both so it's always on. Next we got the ground strap, so it's just gonna go to the battery. And then you also get, and you also get this white one. And this goes to either, uh, pretty much any light you want, you could tap this into and it'll turn off the fog bezels when you switch them on. So let's say I tap these into the high beam harness. So whenever I flick on the high beams, it's gonna turn off the fog bezels. Well, I'm not gonna be wiring this, so we'll skip that part. So let's get started. So right here you have the 30 amp, which is going to be your low beam, and the 15 amp, which is going to be your high beam fuse. So you could actually reference this if you get lost, and it has everything right there. So I'm just going to take this wiring, get the puller, I'm going to pull the 30 amp. Put this back. You're going to pop the 30 amp into the empty slot on this. I don't know if you guys can see that there's an empty slot. It's gonna look like that. See, they got the 30 amp in there as well. And we could just plug this right in. Now we can close it off. So now we're gonna attach the ground wire. All right, so now we're left with the harness that goes to the ballast and the white wire. So I'm gonna tape the white wire off. All right, so <clears throat> got the white wire taped off, whole thing zip tied. Now let's get moving here. Now I'm just gonna feed this through. All right, so now we got that wire going down to the front right here by the passenger by the fog light bezel. We're going to attach one end here, and these ends are going to go to the both sides for the bezel. So let's get under the car. I think we got to remove the one panel on the side, otherwise we can't really reach it. I was really trying to avoid that, but looks like we can't. So it looks like you could just pull these right off. So I just grabbed it right here, and it came right off easily. 
Either way, we still gotta get underneath this. There's no way we could wire this and secure the ballast down there. So, let me go down there and try to remove this. Alright, so we found the wire. I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this on. Alright, so I think we're ready to fit the first bezel. Get the wire pushed through. There we go. First one's in. Let's go try it out, make sure it works. Damn, that looks perfect. All right. Let's move on to the next side. Alright guys, so there we have it. This is with all the lights on, including the fog lights. I'm going to turn off the fog lights so you guys can see it better. Check that out. Damn, the colors match perfectly. Alright guys, so that concludes this quick install of the Subi Speed GDM replica fog bezels. It's a pretty straightforward install. It was pretty relatively easy as long as you get the wiring down. The hardest part is probably just running that extension all the way through to the passenger side. But still not a problem at all. Um, just takes a little patience. Maybe it took all of maybe 15, 20 minutes, if that. So, hope you guys like it. I think it turned out amazing. Also, like I mentioned, I just want to conclude this video by saying there's a few more videos coming up I have plans for. Um, I really want to do a video on where this car is going to be going in the future as far as modifications, any plans I have a few years down the line. Um, also, Saturday, I'm going to be going to the LA Auto Show. Uh, more excited about the aftermarket portion of that. Since I didn't miss it out on SEMA, this is probably the next best thing for now. And with that being said, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.